Ed Mayo, Yeoman Second Class, from 53 to 61. Uh, when I got out of Class A school, I went to the Naval Mine Depot, Yorktown, Virginia, and I stayed there for about 18 months. I was a clerk, a clerk typist. Uh, at the depot, uh, I learned a lot there at, uh, at then, and then they had a thing in the Navy in the, them days called CV Surve, and they, you had an IBM card, and you filled out what you, what do you like, you know, whether you want the Atlantic Coast, the Pacific Coast, uh, and two two ships. If you put down as your choice, you were almost sure to get. That was a destroyer or a submarine. So my first choice was a destroyer, and sure enough, I got the destroyer out of no, out of Newport, Rhode Island. So after I did my time at uh, Yorktown, I was transferred to the Norris out of Newport, Rhode Island, which was fast-moving destroyer. Well, it was funny because I reported on the 4th of August, and I no sooner got my bags unpacked and I was told, we're going to the Mediterranean Monday. So you didn't have much time to think. It was time to, hey, we got to get things squared away. And like I say, four days later, we were on our way to the Mediterranean for six months. And uh, it was a very enjoyable cruise. We did the Med, we did we transit the Suez Canal, then went through the Persian Gulf, was aboard the NARS from 57 to 59. Uh, and with these reunions that we have, the camaraderie from a destroyer is much better than any other ship. The guys are a lot closer because, you know, you're really, you only got 300 feet, you got 285 men, so that only gives every man a foot to do. So you're very close. Uh, and everything you do is, you know, you're packed in there pretty tight and it's fun. We had 285 list, enlisted and 14 officers. Tight crew and it, it's, uh, Anybody who's thinking about military, I recommend picking a destroyer because it's a small crew.